Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning back into the Kevin 24-7 channel. Real quick, just past 6,000 subscribers. Actually, literally blew past 6,000. I think we're at like 6,200. So thank you so much, guys, for your love and support. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll go ahead and get to the video, but thank you so much. So I just wanted to make this video because uh, I saw it from another channel. And I'll go ahead and give him credit. His name is Random Shift. Um, you know, more or less copying what he told me on his channel or in his video. Um, but he only has 93 subscribers. I randomly came across the video looking at a bunch of other Humvee stuff. Um, you know, so I don't want to take any credit away from him. Um, but, you know, no offense, I've got a lot more subscribers. I've got a lot bigger Humvee audience. I was hoping I could reach more of you because this is something I learned fairly recently. So it's the age-old problem. You've bought a military Humvee like this one from the government. You've done all the upgrades you want, but you just cannot bring yourself to spend upwards of $3,000 on a winch setup with your front bumper. You know, it's gotta be something that either bolts to the stock bumper, or you gotta have a custom bumper like this. Maybe your STEMI check hasn't come in yet from Joe Biden. Who knows? And along with that, it's got to be a 24 volt winch because Humvees are 24 volts and something pulling that much power, if it's a 12 volt, it's, it's going to cause an imbalance in your batteries and possibly very big issues like fried start boxes, which can run you thousands of dollars. So what is a person to do? You know, your average American citizen who owns a military vehicle like this may very well get stuck. What do you do? Well, I want to show you something I learned a few weeks ago and I've been dying to share it. So right about now you're probably wondering where is this hidden winch in this video that seems very clickbait? Well, I hope you don't think it is clickbait because there really is a hidden winch type solution and if you do think it's clickbait then um, you know, please feel free to call me out on it. But this is a real thing. The hidden winch is right there. Right there. Let me explain. So, this thing right here might not look like a winch, but most Humvees, if not all of them, have at least two of these. And they're usually both on the back or both on the front. I think the, the official way you're supposed to have them is two of them on the back. They are universal. They bolt on to uh, you know, any Humvee hub, as far as I know. And these can get you out of a tight spot if you do not have a real, quote unquote, real winch on either the front or the back of your Humvee. Now the way these work, and I'll just use this zip tie I found on the ground to kind of explain this promise I did not put that there before the video. The way these work is you would take a piece of rebar or a strong metal rod, not a zip tie, and you would put it in here. Just sort of oriented like that. And then what you would do is take a rope, wrap it around there. I don't think it really matters how much how you tie it as long as it, you know, will stay stationary. Your knot will stay stationary. stationary. And then you will run your rope, go out to Let's say here, let's picture that's, you know, a tree or something. Go around there, come around to the other side, and do the exact same thing on this side. And I'm not going to demonstrate because I don't have rebar with me and I'm on a hard piece of pavement so it wouldn't do anything anyway. But it, let's say you were stuck in deep mud. What that would actually do is wind the rope up around that on both sides. You know, you throw the Humvee in reverse. So it'd actually be going that way. And it would wind the rope up on both sides while you're also trying to go in reverse. And literally like a, um, almost like a, well, like a winch. It would pull you back out of your mud hole. Now this isn't foolproof. Um, obviously you're gonna want a pretty strong rope. You know, you're gonna want pretty strong pieces of rebar and you're gonna want a pretty long rope. It's still not guaranteed to get you out of the worst scenarios, but just logically, I think it would work pretty dang good. Now, 
I understand if you still want to go out and get a winch anyway, but I just wanted to show you this literally basically free solution. Um, you know, if you don't have a winch, you know, if, if you're not someone who's off-roading the heck out of their Humvee or there's really just not that much deep mud where you live, I highly recommend this. Um, I think it makes more sense to put these things on the rear axle because it's or, you know, on the rear because the rear doesn't move theoretically the parts are going to be stronger back there back there sorry you know when it's like cold it makes it hard to talk that's what I'm going through right now <laughs> but it, it, it should be a little bit stronger back there generally you drive into mud and the easiest thing to do is go back out of it you know um, but there's probably nothing stopping you from putting it on all four hubs in fact let me just double check that the front hubs look like it can take these things just like the rears. So that's what the rears look like. You can see it for yourself. And that's what the front look like. So it sure looks like it could take it. It even says A01, I think, A1. And that actually says A02. So I don't know for sure. If you can confirm in the comments, guys, that would be uh, really, really helpful. But it sure looks like it could take it just like the rears. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you think it was clickbait, well, if nothing else, I'm keeping it short. Um, if this was helpful, if you liked it, whatever, I hope you can please like and subscribe. Support me like the 60. 200 other awesome people I have right now and um, I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching